is Jericho and today we're going to be talking about my movie props collection that I've been collecting for the past 20-25 years. A long time ago, before YouTube, before social media got invented, I was involved in a series of low budget movies which are basically like Pirates of the Caribbean, it's that kind of uh, high fantasy, sword and sorcery fantasy with flintlocks and muskets. And I got myself this mighty piece here, the double barrel pistol, and it's made to fire caps. And it looks really, really nice. I think Captain Jack uses one of these in one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies anyway. I built a leg holster for it, it looks really good very very heavy, it's actually a wood and metal replica made by Denix and I like it, it looks really nice great for getting rid of zombies but no, no that one's no good for getting rid of zombies this is for getting rid of the zombies it actually started life as a four and a half foot long double barrel musket and I had a friend of mine turn it into a sawn off for me so I can use it at close range. This is for getting rid of zombies. It's made to fire caps and it looks really nice. It actually fits the same leg holster that I built for the other one. So I get the best of both worlds. I've got a little one and then I've got this mighty hand cannon here. It's film quality. Very heavy though. I wouldn't recommend doing any diving rolls when I've got this upon me, I'll probably break my own hip. I decided to get some historical weapons in my collection. Because I like 1930s period adventure, I decided to get some weapons that would suit that kind of time period for any kind of photo shoots or movies set in the Indiana Jones kind of genre or The Mummy, or The Mummy Returns, kind of a Rick O'Connell kind of period genre type adventure characters. So I got myself this. It's a pump action shotgun, it's an airsoft, it's the, one of the cheap versions. But it's going to be the sawn off stock and the cut down barrel. And it looks like a Jack T. Colton style shotgun. And it's good for 1920s or 30s time period type photo shoots. And there you have it. That's my collection of miscellaneous movie props collected over the years. And thanks for watching.